Hey guys, so good evening. We are back once again tracking, talking about the Philippine stock market. And we're going to talk about the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. We're going to talk about BDO, Jollibee, ASEN, PLDT, Converge, Pure Gold, Manila Water, Metro Bank, and GT Capital. So it was another interesting day for the markets. However, the Philippine Stock Exchange Index closed. Uh, lower at 6,973, although we saw it a bit intraday today hit the 7,000 mark. It closed down 3.38 points. That was 0.05%. Value turnover was decent or, excuse me, very, very relatively strong at 9.02 billion pesos. Now, looking at the charts, we are still are reversing we are still in the midst of the reversal that was going on so whatever happened here from the breakout last may it's still continuing however i want to note this though that um we are on the second day that we see we are seeing the philippine stock exchange index up above the 6947 support level so please remember this we have been mentioning the 6947 level as an area of resistance right now because of the breakout that happened yesterday, we are in day two of it above the 6947 mark. As of this point in time, also all of the moving averages, 20, 50, 100, and 200 day moving averages along with MACD is confirming still that the market as a whole is bullish. It's confirming as a whole that there's no reversal signal yet as of this point in time. That being said, please do write this down. If the 6947 level holds itself as a support, the narrative still is we could see the PSEI attack two resistance levels, 7,086, which is the immediate resistance, then 733.96, which is the resistance that is that that uh, that we could see as that's the level that the PSEI hit at the start of the year. So two resistances, 7,086, then 7,333, which is the resistance when we started 2021. So right now, it's currently reversing. Right now, it's currently showing us signs of an uptrend. Moving averages and MACD are currently confirming its upward movement. Now, I want to talk about BDO. I think BDO is worth noting because for the longest time, for the past 16 months, I've talked about it that it really hasn't broken out from the from a sideways progression. Um, th that the 115 peso resistance level was a very, very strong resistance. But right now, for the first time, as you can see right here, no, um, it had a hard time going above this level. We we finally have BDO above pandemic pre-pandemic levels already for the first time. And while all of that is happening, MACD is confirming its bullish move. 20, 50, 100, and 200 day moving averages are confirming it. It's still also similar to the Philippine Stock Exchange Index reversing from a downward movement. But what's interesting about it is it's above the 115 peso resistance level. Now, please do write this down for quick traders. If the 115 level support will hold, possible area for it to go is the 128 peso resistance level. So from the past breakout to 128, it has legs to go up around 11.5%. If it goes higher and breaks past through the 128 resistance level, possible area for it is the 136.8 uh, resistance. So that gives you around a 20% uh, movement from the breakout of the 115 peso resistance. So what's interesting now to see is that BDO is above is above pre-pandemic levels. What's interesting now also is it has it started to show us signals or signs that it's already out of the sideways trajectory that we have for BDO. So current thing to watch out for, 115 solidifies as a level of support. Areas of resistance will be 128.04 and 136.79. For those who are joining us for the first time, my name is Marvin Germo. I'm a stock market trader and investor, and I talk about the top stocks that you guys requested via social media. Please do note this, though, that no matter how much I talk about it here, please don't buy, sell, hold, or avoid any of the stocks that I'm talking about here, please don't do that. Uh, please don't buy just because it's talked about here. Please take the time to be able to analyze it on your own. This is not financial advice. This is me sharing information. But at the end of the day, it's about you learning to decide on your own, learning to study on your own, because at the end of the day, it's your money. It's your responsibility. That being said, let's continue. Next stock I'd like to talk about is Jollibee, which... Um, intraday today, you know, showed us 
bits and pieces of upward strides. However, there it's a come to a bit of selling. And I want to note this also that uh, because of that selling, as you can see right here, it went below the 210 uh, range. So I mentioned this yesterday that 210 was a very, very significant resistance because uh, we have not seen Jollibee go above the 210 mark. If you zoom out even further, the last time it was above 210 was somewhere around January 20, um, somewhere around January 2020. So for the first time, Sana, it went above that particular level. But today, it succumbed to selling, and the selling made it go lower than the 210 mark. So uh, currently, though, it's still in the midst of a reversal. MACD is still bullish. 20, 50, 100, 200 day moving averages are still bullish. Um, it's still out from the downward trending slope that it broke out from. However, from a short-term perspective, uh, this is how we could possibly see it, that it must go above the 210 mark right here uh, for it to have any significance of it actually going up. So very, very important area for you guys to watch out is the 210 level because if Jollibee does not stay above the 210 mark, then possible retracement levels for it is it could go back to 201 which is a short-term resistance, and then 189, which is another medium-term resistance, which it revisited no last uh, at the start of June 2021. So please write this down. Um, Jollibee goes back above 210. Uh, please remember Jollibee closed today at uh, 206.8 pesos per share. So it must go above that level, go back to 210 for it to have a movement up. So if it goes above 210, uh, current range that it could move is 210 support, 234 resistance. Failure to go above 210, um, retracement will be 200 and 189 pesos per share. Now, to more exciting news, let's talk about ASEN because ASEN is still in the midst of a breakout. It's it's uh, We are on the second day of it actually breaking out from a level of resistance. Please remember, um, ASEN's resistance was 7.94 and as long as it stays above that level, uh, the breakout will actually still stand. So very, very important for those who are looking at this from a quick trading standpoint is as long as 7.94 will hold, the progression up will still stand very, very much. So um, good signs. Sorry, not the second day. It's actually its third day. If you allow me to zoom in, you'll see it here that it's a third day above this level. So should there be any correction? Should there be any sell-offs over the next few days? As long as 7.94 will hold, the upward trajectory and even the breakout for ASEN will pretty much stand. Now, that being said, let's let's transition to PLDT. Uh, PLDT today was sold down. As you can see right here, there's a very, very large and massive candle uh, for PLDT. Uh, it closed today somewhere around, let me cross check, cl close today at 1,281. It's down 2.06%. Value turnover is 204 58 million and um it's a recipient of it failing to break out the 200 day moving average which is around the 133 point 1332 resistance level uh what protected it today was the 50 day moving average which is right here so i think it's at the make or break point also uh, over the next few days macd though is showing us a change in direction right here which is confirming this downward movement so that being said i want to mention this if the one two one thousand two hundred um the one thousand two hundred seventy nine level does not hold, then we could possibly see PLDT retrace back here, back to the one thousand two hundred mark. If it bounces off that, then it will challenge the one thousand three hundred thirty two level once again, and that will be a make or break situation because if it doesn't break out from that, then we just see it move and consolidate sideways. But if it breaks past that level, then it it we could see some interesting strides as it could possibly attack and go to the 1,460 peso mark. So again, support for PLDT are right here, right now, 50-day moving average, 1,279. Resistance is 1,332. Failure to hold the 1,279 level, it could make it retrace to the 1,203 mark. For those who are curious about what I'm talking about right here, all of this is under the School of Thought of Technical Analysis. We have a seminar coming this July. It's two weekends, um, Saturday, Sunday, it will be half days where we're going to talk about most of the things that I'm discussing here. Candlesticks, support and resistance analysis, trend analysis, um, moving averages, MACD, ADX, Bollinger Band, Parabolics, or Fibonacci retracements, and so much more. So if you want to join us and you want to learn 
about this, it will be via Zoom. It will be online. So if you are from different cities outside Metro Manila or from different countries, you can actually join us at the convenience of your home. So links are in the description below. So next is I want to talk about Converge. Converge is also a similar stock that's also pushing higher and it's breaking out. So as you can see right here, um, as it broke out from the 20.37 resistance level, it's one, two, three, four, four plus days already above the breakout of the 20.37 mark. MACD, 20, 50, and 100 day moving averages are supporting its bullish move. Um, the trend line that's, that's uh, solidifying its upward move is right here also confirming it confirming it is a 50-day moving average. So that being said, again, if there would be any take profits, there would be any uh, sell downs, as long as it stays above this 20.37 mark, then the upward push is still there. As long as it stays above the 20.37 mark, um, we are seeing a new base for Converge start to form. Next, let's look at Pure Gold, uh, which is a very, very essential company similar to Converge. Um, it's trying right now to break past the 200-day moving average. If I'll put a resistance here and I'll put some support levels here, this is how it actually looks like. So that being said, all eyes, in my opinion, will be right here at the 40.95 mark because that's where the 200-day moving average is, which is a strong resistance, and the 40.95 mark. Breakout from 40.95, next possible area for it to go is 44. Breakout from 44 will be the 49 level. However, if it fails to break past that possible retracement level, we could see the stock go for the short term to the 37.28 mark. So again, we saw it intraday. Uh, you see the wick here. There was a, there was a short term, at least daily, uh, high here. But that as it hit this level, it got rejected uh, via the this resistance that i plotted and the 200 day moving average so again please write this down break out from this level of resistance 40.95 failure to break out from it we could see a retracement either here 39.23 or here 37.22 but a breakout from that we could see it go to the 44 peso mark now manila water very very interesting because as you all know it dropped a few more than a year ago because of the issues that it had with the current administration but now uh, we've seen confirmation already that it's Razon running the show uh, and ev and and there's there seems to be no problem from it from an administration standpoint and the contracts look to be uh, very very interesting that it's standing as well MACD is bullish showing us also momentum upward and for those who attended their stock smart sessions you know how significant this is breakout from 20 50 100 200 day moving average in a kumpul kumpul with large uh, with large candlesticks attached to it. And then if I'll put the Bollinger Bands here, you can see it. Um, bullish strides also that as it's hitting the upper Bollinger Band, the moving averages are sloping up and then the upward and downward Bollinger Bands are moving far apart. Um, that being said, it for the first time, it has broken past the 17 peso resistance level, a, a range that we have not seen it do um, since this time, which was around November 2019, uh, which was also the time when it had a lot of issues uh, with with the current administration so that being said possible so that being said if 17 solidifies itself as an area of support meaning the breakout is valid possible areas for manila water to go is at 18.44 as a level of resistance then 19.55 so it's 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 nice to see you know that uh we're seeing some stability also because this is a very, very important utility, um, especially for people like us that are from Metro Manila. Uh, and we want to see it also prosper as as, uh, as, a, as a Filipino that's using its services. Uh, it's nice to see some stability in that front. So, But from a tech standpoint, failure to break the 17 level, then we may see it reverse back and just consolidate within this range again. But if it breaks out as supported by MACD, as supported by the Bollinger Band, as supported by the breakout from uh, from the 20, 50, and 100 day moving, 100 and 200 day moving average, then we could possibly see it go to 18.44 for the short term, which is where the resistance is. I hope you guys are learning. We're down to our last two stocks. I hope that this is something that's um, very, very helpful for all of you because, again, the end of, at the end of it all, the reason why I keep doing this is I want to educate Filipinos that. Uh, you get to use the capital markets as a way for you to be able to earn, as a way for you to be able to use um, your money to work hard for you. Now, very interesting. Um, Metro Bank uh, earlier this year went down. 
primarily because they gave a very, very large amount of dividends. Uh, after giving those large amount of dividends, we saw it start to uh, retrace down and go down. But that being said also, uh, one of the reasons, in my opinion, that it went down was it failed to break out the 51.65 resistance level, and it started to just consolidate from that particular point in time. So uh, what we're seeing right now is uh, Metro Bank just bouncing off the support level, and I think its current trajectory will be somewhere around here to the 51.65 mark. So if you are trading this, watching this, look at the 51.65 level because if it fails to break out from that, then it would just maybe just move around this particular range once again. But if it breaks out, um, and if BDO is an indicator for it that we're seeing banks start to break out, possible uh, targets or possible resistances is here, 55.98. Then the next one is at the 61.04 mark. So currently, it's sideways, all eyes on 51.67. MACD 20, 50, 100, and 200 day moving averages, though, are currently bullish. Lastly, let's look at GT Capital. By the way, if you have more stocks by request, um, feel free to DM me in Instagram or put, put it in the comment section below. And maybe tomorrow for the next videos, um, we're going to try to make more for all of you. Okay, so um, GT Capital, uh, as you can see right here, it's breaking out of certain ranges. Uh, it has broken out already of 548. 571. Its current range that it's trying to break out on current resistance is at the 615 resistance level. Failure to break the 615 resistance level, then there may be a retracement here back to the 571 mark. But break out from the 615 level, then it may have the legs to go to the 670 resistance level. So that being said, um, please watch for 615. 20, 50, 100, 200 day moving averages and MACD are bullish. Uh, Bollinger Bands is also bullish. But since this is a resistance level, um, you could see also portions of people that may actually take profits from this. But uh, as you can see right here, it's trying to build its own upward trending slope as well. So breakout from 615, possible resistance is 670. Failure to break out 615, possible support is 571. But the trend, moving averages and MACD right now are all bullish. So we talked about the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. We talked about BDO, JFC, AC, Manila Water, Metro Bank, GT Capital, all of which had different movements. But let me know, what are your thoughts right here? Are, did this charting session that we have help you? Uh, put them in the comment section. If you have questions, feel free to let me know. I'll answer it via Patreon, Instagram, or the comment section down below. And uh, if you want to invest in Forex markets, we have a link. I'm I'm starting to try Forex markets also. We have XM. What's interesting about XM is that when you open an account with them, you have free 30 US dollars and they have a promo for June 2021 that whatever amount you deposit, maximum of 500 US dollars, they will match. Meaning if you deposit 250 US dollars, they will give you 250 US dollars. So uh, just by that alone, during the promo period, you've already doubled your money and it's real money that you can actually use also for trading. So please remember the, the maximum amount is 500 US dollars. If you deposit 500, you get 500. So you get that free. So that's for Forex. For stocks, we still have go trade. Uh, one U.S. dollar, you can open an account, you can buy U.S. stocks for one U.S. dollar only. Um, the code is, it's invite only. So the only way for you to be able to buy U.S. stocks using GoTrade is by using uh, the code that's provided uh, below. So check it, check it out below. Then for those who want to, um, for those who want to try the cryptocurrency markets, check out Binance. Um, they're the largest crypto exchange in the world. And um, I have... I've, I'm starting to use hardware wallets already. Check them out. It's one way for you to protect your cryptocurrencies. Um, it, uh, I have one new one below. I'm going to maybe try to make a video about it over the next few days, but um, just check it out. Um, we have we have a couple in the description. One way for you to protect your cryptocurrencies as well. So there, I hope that this is something that's insightful, and I hope that this is something that gave you value. This is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.